Skywatch Media News for March the 26th, 2020. A large section of Yellowstone National Park, roughly the size of Chicago, located in the Norris Geyser Basin, has been suddenly and mysteriously pulsating. The reason for the erratic pulsation is not entirely understood, although it has been suggested that magma is intruding into the caldera, creating hydrothermal irregularity. The Norris Geyser Basin, located in the northwest of the caldera, contains more than 500 hydrothermal geysers and pools. These geophysical features are constantly changing with each passing day but there is a larger transformation that is taking place at this geological wonder. For the last 20 years, a large portion of the park centered near the basin has been inflating and deflating by several inches in a pulsating manner with erratic bursts. A recent study in the Journal of Geophysical Research may explain why this area is pulsating. It could actually be that the Norse Basin has been experiencing deformation for a very long time, according to research geologists from the Cascades Volcano Observatory. Based on GPS data and satellite radar from the late 1990s, researchers were able to determine that a body of magma had intruded beneath the Norse Basin, where fluids trapped in the magma are escaping making their way through the rocky labyrinth situated above these fluids. From this point, the fluids became stuck, causing pressure to build up and allowing the ground to rise. When the fluids discovered an alternative escape mechanism, the ground would then deflate. The magma-derived fluids may actually be sitting just a mile below the surface. The recent geological findings do not necessarily suggest that the Yellowstone caldera will suddenly experience a supervolcanic eruption, similar to the one that took place some 640,000 years ago. But the study does portend an increased risk of hydrothermal explosions occurring in the Norris Basin. The injection of magma along with the escape of fluids above the rocky subsurface may seem like a logical, if not plausible, explanation for the pulsation. But Yellowstone is very complex and quite elusive, and geological investigations of its subsurface are challenging and not always reliable. The Norris Geyser Basin is notoriously unpredictable. It is Yellowstone's oldest thermal area, dating back 115,000 years. It is also the hottest region, registering 459 degrees Fahrenheit at a depth of 1,000 feet below the surface. A good example of how unpredictable this area is would be the 400-foot-tall steamboat geyser, with its infrequent eruptions occurring anywhere between four days up to half a century. But beginning in the late winter of 2018, Steampoat began erupting on a regular basis, as frequently as once a week. The geyser actually erupted 32 times in the year 2018, and surpassed that number in 2019, when it erupted 48 times. Needless to say, scientists are keeping a close eye on the Norris Basin geysers and vents, and here is why. In the years between 1996 and 2005, an area 18 miles in length uplifted 4.7 inches. It then retracted to about 2.8 inches between the years 2006 and 2013. The area then suddenly rose to 5.9 inches in late 2013 and the beginning of 2014, 
which was the highest uplift that was ever observed within Yellowstone. In March of 2014, a 4.9 magnitude earthquake rocked the Norris Geyser Basin, which brought the uplift to a sudden halt. Since that time, the ground deformation has fluctuated up and down until 2019, when it then began to subside. Right now, the basin is about 5 inches higher than it was 20 years ago, around the year 2000. Geologists suggest or suspect that the upheaval happening at the Norse Basin began when magma rose just short of 9 miles below the surface between the years 1996 and 2001. To give you a better idea of this basin, which is located at the northwestern rim of the caldera, it lies on a line of faults and vents known as the Norris Mammoth Corridor where two fairly weak zones intersect one another. It is from this intersection where magma may have the ability to rise much closer to the surface. This is most likely the cause of the uplift event between the years 1996 and 2005, where magmatic intrusion happened. Afterwards, the magma cooled and flues dissolved and were able to bubble out to the surface thus lowering the pressure of the magma body, leading to deflation between the years 2006 and 2013. The erratic process has been repeating itself ever since that time. What is so perplexing for scientists is this cycle of magmatism in hydrothermal activity, which is elusive and difficult to identify. Their hypothesis may seem reasonable, but it is by no means a certainty as there could be other existential reasons for the erratic behavior within the basin. What is happening in this region is disconcerting since magma-derived fluids are situated just beneath the surface of the Norse Basin, which just happens to be riddled with hydrothermal explosive craters that can violently depressurize, causing a blast of superhot steam, which is a violent event that cannot be easily forecast. Even with the possibility of a sudden explosion, this region has remained open to the public. Meanwhile, Scientists are speculating as to whether the accumulation of magmatic fluids is directly related to the record-breaking number of eruptions that are happening at the Steamboat Geyser. It seems a bit suspicious as to why this geyser is putting on a show when others are remaining fairly quiet. For the time being, all eyes are focused on this active region of Yellowstone to observe any further vertical deformation that may occur in the near future. In addition to the recent observations of ground deformation within the Norris Basin, the USGS has recently recorded more than 200 earthquakes in the Yellowstone region. The earthquakes were accompanied by four eruptions of the steamboat geyser, all occurring within the month of February. During this month of seismic activity, the USGS recorded three earthquake swarms on three separate dates. There has also been a small amount of ground deformation that matches the activity that has begun in the year 2015. Considering the recent increase in volcanic activity from around the globe, and the fact that far too many North Americans have forgotten that there is a supervolcano below Yellowstone, this volatile region will continue to be closely monitored. In these extraordinary times in which we live, look to the sky in its all-inspiring wonder, for the sky has the power to pull you out of your worries and into the present moment. All that you have to do is to look up. The sky brings both goodness and beauty in a precious moment that is free of conditions. Yes, this is a good reason to look up, to see some beauty and to be free of your problems 
at least for a short while. At the end of your day, you will appreciate that you took but a moment to look up at the sky and to recognize its effect for yourself. Thanks for watching.